Welcome to DICTA, your weekly dose of law school and bar exam info. I'm Carrie Ann. And I'm Puyan, and we're the co founders of Inco. So today, we're going to be discussing how to write a killer analysis. And by we, I mean Carrie Ann. Obviously. Obviously. So, analysis section, really important part of IROCking, law school, essay, exam writing, bar exam writing, really important. Do you know why it's so important? Because that's where you get all your points? Because that's where you get all your points. So you want to have a good system in place for writing your analysis I just remember section. someone yelling that at me. I don't. I didn't actually know the answer might, to that. It might have been me at another point in time just, just yelling it at you. But the people who are grading your exams, whether it's your law school finals or your bar exam, they have this fantastic thing called a rubric. And on that rubric it says what does get points and what does not get points. And if you total up all the points for getting the right issue, all the points for getting the right rule, right analysis, right conclusion, the majority of those points on every rubric I've ever seen puts the highest em emphasis and the most points on analysis, followed by the rule section. So today I just want to give you a simple formula for writing a good analysis section. So what is analysis? Analysis is taking the rule and applying it to given facts. Yeah, reverse that. You're applying the given facts to the rule. But mm. same idea. We won't well, toma mince words Tomato, here. tomato. Right. <laughs> Shocking. So every good analysis section has application of fact to law. They have to stick together. For every piece of your rule, you have to have a fact in application that applies to it. So there's a certain sentence structure that you can use to help you um, to create this kind of analysis section. So you want to start with the element from the rule. So let's take duty from negligence, right? Duty, breach, injury, causation, proximate, and actual cause. So we're going to say duty. So you're starting your analysis section and you want to say duty, the element of duty. Then you want to say is or isn't satisfied because insert fact from the fact pattern. So there's a couple of different kinds of set and structures you can use and it could be very repetitive to use that set and structure all the time, but that is analysis. That is applying fact to law. So the way you know if you're doing analysis is if in every sentence you have a part of the law and application of an element. Does that make sense? Makes sense. It's not what I did, but it makes sense. Do you think you would have seen better grades if yeah. you had done that? Yeah, because I kind of just, after the rule, I just kind of discussed for a while until I was running out of time and then I concluded. Right, so analysis isn't a summary. You're not just, you're not just repeating whatever was in, the, was in the fact pattern. You are saying why the court should hold a certain way or who's likely to win, right? Whatever the question is, you are making an argument and the way you support your argument is by applying fact to law. So I'm going to repeat the sentence structure one more time. You want to say that the element is or isn't satisfied because insert fact that shows why the element is or isn't satisfied. And for my students and for most professors I know, we don't need it to be fancy, we just need it to be accurate. So I teach my students to just use this one sentence structure. Well, that's why I give them a sheet with like five. But if you just stuck with this one sentence structure, you would at the very least be doing analysis. And that's what's most important. Wow, I learned something. I mean, don't you learn something every week in an episode of Dicta? Anyway, I hope that you can take these tips and incorporate them into your final exams or on the bar exam and write a killer analysis section. Thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions, shoot an email to carryin at vincoprep.com or check out our Facebook group.